Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camille Trent. Today we're going to paint this really fun, so easy guys. I'm telling you, anybody can do this simple winter uh, wonderland painting. You can use for cards or decor. You know, it, you can play around with the blues and the greens and the trees. I'll show you how to do this. It's really simple. Probably the most advanced thing is putting that little red bird in there. Otherwise, everything's really easy to do. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Um, also, don't forget to check out my Patreon every week on Thursday. I have exclusive tutorials and traceables there. And if you're a Super Patreon member, each month you get a download from me that I've created that you can print on for your own personal use, not commercial use. And uh, that's a treat because I don't even sell digital downloads. So, you know, that's, that's something that I decided to do for Patreon because I, I really appreciate my Patreons, especially in that super tier level. Anyway, I appreciate all my Patreons. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, again, leave them in the comment section. And don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorial is up. Sometimes it's sporadic, especially during this month, because December, December is crazy with, you know, the holiday and whatnot. So let's get started. All right, guys, so we're going to go over supplies. I have a piece of Arches 100% cotton cold press paper, 6 by 9 inch, taped down with just scotch tape. Um, I use the magic scotch tape. Um, it won't harm the paper. I probably just wrecked this piece of cardboard that I taped it down to. It's just a, this is just this is actually a piece of cardboard from the leftover arches pad. So I'm reusing it, I'm trying to be good with the environment here. And this is no you don't need a specific um, traceable tutorial on this. We're just going to have fun playing with watercolor and movement of the watercolor and just painting things. If you want to just like kind of just make if you can't figure out, but you make a little teeny kind of wiggly horizon uh, not, well, the line you want to cut off the snow from. Um, if you want it this high, you know, if you want it smaller, um, it, wherever you want to put it. You want it smaller up here. So if you want more snow here and you can write a word in here, if you're going to make it a card, if you're just going to make it to um, it, an actual painting, then you don't have to do that at all. Whatever you feel like doing. So I go with my paints as I use them. They're always in the description box. I know people have difficulty trying to find it, and I just keep telling them, click the word show more. A, a little arrow is underneath that, and it drops down, and all the description is in there with all the links to all the paints and products that I use. And so you'll see the but I, I give you a list of supplies, and then there's a whole bunch of links of the supplies below that if you can't find them, I find them for you on the Amazon. So there you go. I know that people have a hard time, time finding arches paper. I myself, so I, had, I bought like, I think I have 12 pads over there <laughs> because it was like so hard that I'm like, I don't want to go through that again. If there's a major lockdown, um, which I don't think was going to actually happen because now they're rolling out the vaccines now, um, that I need to have the paper to at least teach you guys. You know, you can always, if you didn't have the paper yourself, you can always just watch the videos and learn in the on the scrap and then when you get the good paper just do it on that so let's have fun we want to have fun the world is a little crazy right now let's have some fun this is something so simple kids could do this if you have grandkids or little kids you can have them do this so i have my water jars up here paper towels i mean if you want to use um something that's more environmental friendly which is like you know cloth you could use that too old t-shirt whatnot i might just grab an old crappy old craft brush. I'm sure you guys have some of this stuff here. And I'm just going to get it wet from where I want my snow to appear and where I don't want it. To. So the rest of it will be the sky area. I'm going to go like right here. I'm just going to get it wet. It's a little super wet right now. I'm just going to have it soak up a bit. And we're going to play around with blues and grays and whatnot. We're going to move the paper around, the, the pad around too. So we're going to play, we're going to turn this upside down now. We could have turned it upside down in the beginning actually. And I'm going to grab some, uh, I'm just going to grab a big brush that I have. I have this Neptune 12. And I'm just going to grab some paints here. I have the Prussian blue. I might mix a little green with that bluish green, maybe a little black, maybe a more deeper color, whatever you want to do, like a deep bluish gray, green color. 
and I'm just going to put it here and have it bleed down, All right? Just play around with that. I'm going to get a little deeper color with that blue. But I want it to feel like kind of like um, deep green trees, so I'm going to add more green to that and have it bleed down. Well, you can add some brown. I'm going to add some Van Dyke brown to this. Play around with it. On the other side next to it, I'm sorry, my palette's a mess. Grab some bluish grays. Let that bleed down a little bit. If it's not bleeding the way you want it to, you can just kind of manipulate it a little bit. You don't want it all color, but you can play around with some more blues too. I mean, you can make it light blue too. You don't have to be all blue greens. But you might want to feel like little forest trees. So just going to dab those. I got the blue. I'm taking some of my green, which is the olive green. It's pretty dark. And I'm just going to manipulate that again by just touching it with some water. I'm going to soak it up a bit. If it starts to puddle down below, you just take your little paper towel and wipe it up. And even still, like if you're not liking all this going here, you can kind of lift it. But I'm going to mix up some more brownish greens. And have them kind of go down in a triangle here. I want this a little bit deeper. So I'm adding some more of that blue, Prussian blue. If it's not working, you have to have one of these things. So it's like a cheap spray bottle you can get at uh, Michael's or Hobby Lobby or whatever. Spurt. That's going to get really watery. I probably spurt it too much. And then what happened is it kind of splatted out here a bit. But that's okay because we can work with that. See, so it created this kind of crazy mess over here. So I'll just kind of like take my paper towel and kind of go over here, try and lift up some of that paint. It has this really cool look to it, right? So I'm flipping, this is how it's gonna actually look. I'm gonna flip it back. We're playing here, people. We just wanna have some fun. Painters just wanna have some fun. Put, put more of that gray tone, maybe a little blue here. A little green. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And put the point down like that. Grab some of that brown, Van Dyke brown. It's a little concentrated, so I can put like some branches, faux branches like that, on tree trunks. Just like that. I'm going to grab some of my gray again. Wiggle, wiggle. Kind of a bluish gray sky, and you can make it more blue if you don't want it gray. I can grab some of my uh, peacock, mix with some of the green, get some blue in there. It's pretty bright. Mm. If I didn't want it so gray, want it more. And just see, I'm just soaking up some of the paint that's dripping downward. You can take a paper towel and Grab some of that soaked up paint. You can even swoop in here and take some of that out with the paper towel. Not too much. You don't want to like wreck your paper too much. We'll flip it back and see how we like it. Kind of cool, right? These mystical trees. I kind of like that. And again, you can go in and add just another it's flipped. Just grab whatever brush you have. Even, oop, excuse me, Mr. Brush. Um, a little bit darker. I'm taking that blue. A little black, a little green. Just going to dab it in here. You can put like another, see, take your brush, and just go up and then crisscross back and forth like it's a pine tree. Just like that. I like how it's mystical and magical. <laughs> so you just keep playing around with color if you want to add even more, like a bluish, blackish, bluish gray. I'm 
playing around with more blue, black, gray. I'm gonna flip this back. I wanna add a little more of that deep color. I'm gonna bleed it downward. See, I'm just manipulating it with the brush, just pushing it, like pointing it like a, so it's like a tree. And I'm getting even darker right in here. Some black and blue. Just, oh, you see how I'm lifting this up? And basically, and it will just bleed down. You can spritz it, you just gotta be careful. Let's see, let's slip it how it looks. Do you like that green mystical tree there? Right? We might wanna put a little more color because I might wanna. Just a touch. I'm playing around. See, I'm playing around with them. When I make a video sometimes with you guys, I'm playing just like you are. I could do edited videos, but I just like the feel of more live. See, I'm gonna add some more blue back in here. Because I really wanna splatter some snow, and I just want a little bit more color. And I'm not gonna get that. Now I might have done something that's horrible, but we'll have to flip it over and see. Do we like it? It's still mystical, right? It hasn't gone to the edge. We can just, again, pick up some paint if we don't like it. But just be careful if you overwork it, you'll wreck the paper a little bit. So I'm thinking that's good. You've got the color in there. You've got the mystical trees in there. Right? So we're gonna let that dry a bit on that section. We're not gonna play around anymore. You could do, like I have that video of the winter greenery, when it gets that real dampness, you could scrape up some birch trees in there, but I just wanna keep it a color. So we're gonna do some fun like winter trees. Oops, drop some water there. And we're gonna grab some gray. I just have a little, this is a mess part of the palette over here, which I love. Little bits and pieces of different colors that, you know, you can just create with your dried paints. So I have some Payne's gray over there. Mix a little blue with that. So it's a bluish gray. Water it down a bit. I just put in some pretty blue, gray, Just in here. You don't want to hit that other part too much. Just a little bit like that. You can go down a little bit for like a shadow. I'd add a little more blue. Mine's looking a little too gray. Ooh, and then it's a little too blue, but that's okay. Kind of lift it up a little bit. And put a little more, just little tidbits in here. We're still gonna keep the snow. We're just gonna play around with adding some gray and blues. This is supposed to be just a fun exercise. So, now we're gonna have to let this baby dry. Because without it drying, I just got a lot of paint right here, I just noticed, really thick. We're gonna let this baby dry, and then we're gonna come in, or actually while it's drying, you can do this technique. I was playing around with um, possibly doing a snowflake tutorial. I don't know if you guys want one, but it was fun. See, I just did this little snowflake. But I know that nobody wants to buy or can find, the, I did put a link in for the alcohol links, and I couldn't actually open it. So people had asked before, well, can I use gouache to do the same thing? And I'm like, I'm possibly. So you know what I did, people? I did the gouache. I did it for you. So I have the white gouache here. While it's still damp, you wanna get it loose, kind of like watercolor, not super loose, but loose. And it will do that bleeding effect. So I can tap it on another brush or 
or whatever I have, pencil. So it's damp, it's wet, water gouache. It's, what's gonna happen is, a bigger the brush, by the way, gonna get these bigger splotches. So you wanna do this now. And I'll explain why, because we're gonna paint some trees over it. Snow, let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> this is so much fun. I swear you could be like 12 years old doing this. Now see how it bleeds into that wet, damp paper? If you look at my other ones, you get this really just like pale white bleed. And then of course when it dries, you can go up on top of it and do like the really um, concentrated snow. But the bleeding effect, look how pretty that is. It's just beautiful. And look how simple that was to do. Come on. Don't tell me you can't do this. You guys could do this. Just taking paint and playing around up and down and moving color around and taking that the old good old gouache and watering it down and smacking some. I'm going to put a little more over here. There we go. I know. I'm getting a little crazy. So we're going to let that dry. All right. So everything's dry. And see how subtle that like gouache in with the colors there's just like this palish whitish color in there so pretty so now i'm just going to grab uh, my princeton look at my fingers filthy sorry guys um princeton eight long round brush i've mixed up some pretty deep green this is like the olive mixed with some prussian i'm gonna put a little more blue i think in here and we're gonna put in like a pine tree on the side i'm just gonna put in some really loose um, pine stems. First we're going to just make a simple line like this, right? Just going to flush out where we want the, the tree to be. Just simple. See how dark that is? And then from here we can go in and make, just go up, start going like this. Just going to water it down a bit. So get a little bit wet. And that's looking a little too funky, not funky, but like not a deep enough gr green. So I'm going to add a little deeper color to that. And you can have it bleed. We're going to be putting snow on that too. So we're just going to put these like tree branches. See, I just put the little line where the tree branches and just make a very simple, loose, just going like this movement where the tree branches are. Connect them a bit. We could have it watered down more if you want. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to water some of it down. Just going like this. It's a simple pine tree. Like the Christmas tree is like off to the side. Just making this movement with the tip of my brush the needles sporadic and you can eat, add some darker tones a little bit lighter tones too and wash out some of it by taking some water and just tapping like that areas next to it see how I do that and then go back in and add some nice sprays again and just tapping it out a little bit tapping it out means just like going on top like this, right? Taking out some of that paint. And then just dabbing on a paper towel. Now it's looking like it's not <laughs> like a tree. It should be a little bit longer out here because it's looking all the same length, right? We don't want that. So we want to get a little bit longer here. So it doesn't look like it's the same length. Tapping it again some water. We might have the branch kind of like bending down a little bit out here. Grab some lighter green and then out here like a little bit in the bottom. So I'm mixing it like with browns and some greens and some blacks and some light greens. 
getting all those greens in there. Put a little dab on top. Again, just those little sprays. I've got some brown with the green. So you can go back on top of the stuff that you washed out with some real fine needles. Just a little trick. So you're washing out some of it and then you're adding some of it back. See, so I'm just making this movement again over here. And don't forget, we're going to throw some snow on it too when it dries. So you kind of want it dark in some areas. Just like that. More branchy. I'm like probably playing around with it too much, but. And you could do another one over here too. You know, if you want to have another tree on both sides, maybe a smaller one coming out from here. But you already have that dark. Um, spray so we just do like little sprays I'm going to just do some little pine sprays coming on the ground here so I'm taking the brush and then doing those little wisps of pine on the ground just like that from here we can put some like grasses in just use some dark Van Dyke brown make some black or just not and just throw in some the grass you know simple grasses put a little rock in there um, I use a little gray just a little gray you make like a little half moon shape gray and brown that's a little too dark I'll just lift up some of the color so like a gray stone is in there a couple little stones I have that in the other winter tutorial too, like the little stones. And then you can take some nice brown, golden brown branches coming out, the grass, and then down here. When that dries a bit, we can do another shadow. Um, take some, like, Prussian blue, I just mix up some of this color, it's all messy here. So I do like a Prussian blue with a little gray. So it's blue gray. Maybe you want it a little bit brighter, like a ultramarine. So add a little, this is very green up here. I'm just whipping up the paint. So here's the Prussian blue. I want some magenta to it to make it ultramarine. There we go. And I'll water that down. Add a little gray to it. And we can do a little shadow. Shadow like under the tree. I like the shadows. I don't know why. I'm very fascinated with the snowy shadows. It can get a little darker towards the rock. But I find the shadows fun. Just my thing. Nobody has their thing. And then put some up here. Okay, so it's getting kind of like crazy, right? We're going to be throwing in some snow on top of the... Um, I'm just gonna add a little more gray in here on the rocks. We're gonna various gray, blue. We're gonna throw some snow on top of the branches and then we can put a bird there or whatever. So I've got that white gouache again. This time we're gonna have less water on it so it's more concentrated. And we're gonna get really loose with this snow situation. We're just gonna like you know, because how it falls on the branches. 
to get too much on my brush right now. I'm just going to go on the tree like this. Let's go on the tree on top of the little branches. See how simple I'm just throwing this on just on top. And I can do it all over. See, I'm just putting it on top. Look, the snow has been on the branches. Just on top. And you get that clumpy. The snow has just fallen on the pretty evergreens. And you can go back in, which I'm going to be doing, and splattering some more. Get a feel of how much snow you want to put some on down here, too, on the pines down here. The snow is falling on that snow over here, all on the greens. It's a wintry wonderland. Okay, so we can water this down again. And until we have the light splatter, we can have like a little more, less light splatter. So I'm getting the consistency to be not with, looser than a wasabi, if you know what wasabi is, and not as loose as watercolor, so in between. And I'm gonna grab whatever I have convenient, maybe a Sharpie pen. See how it looks splatter just a little bit. Oh, there we go. I'm liking that. Just kind of more on the side of the tree. You can kind of go out there a little bit, but not too much. Be careful not to over splatter. I mean, it's easy to do. <laughs> I can add some more of these ones out here. Let it snow. I sing terribly. Sorry, guys. So it's just kind of splattering more on these branches. I love this look. Less out here. We want that real subtle. And a little bit over here in the corner where the other branch is. On top of that blue. Over here. And it has that really pretty look to it. Let's see, I'll show you up close. I, and you can just leave this sucker the way it is, right? Um, if you want to put like a little red bird. Okay, so you can try and make a little bird. I'm gonna grab some of my magenta, mix it with my cabin yellow deep and make a nice red. The thicker the paint of watercolor, it will kind of act like a gouache. So if you have a nice red, I'm gonna just put, put a little cardinal in here. He's just gonna be hanging out. If the red is not bright enough, you can add a little, you can actually add gouache to your, see it looks a little dark. We want it brighter. So let's see, we add some gouache and brighten this up. And it has a little back and a little tail. Just so tiny. He's just this little red bird. If you have red gouache, use it, or red acrylic paint, use it. I'm trying to find my red gouache. I have a bowl of gouache here. And it doesn't want to cooperate because I'm doing a tutorial, of course. And then you can put the little yellow beak. And it has a little black. You don't have to make it so perfect. Um, like I said, you can try and mix the color red you have with a little gouache, see if it comes out better. So how we paint the bird, basically, you know, you draw a bird, draw a circle, a little tail down. Let me see if I can find a better way to show you. <laughs> Black paper. So. I'm going to test out my gel pen. There's the circle of the bird, but it's a cardinal. Put the little tail down like I did. 
right? There's the head. Okay, so a little triangle head and connect them. And then your little beak, and then you have like a cardinal. Okay, and fill that in. It's gonna be so tiny and it's just red that you're not even gonna notice. By the way, if you don't have these gel pens, these are fantastic. So you can use these to do like writing, a little dots. So while my little bird is hanging out, I used the number four, by the way, um, Princeton Long Round to make the bird because it's tiny. I put a little feet. It's hanging out. I want to dry it, I'll put the little black eye in here. You can put a couple of them. I just have the one. And there you go. So let me lift up some of this. It's a little still wet here. I'm going to wipe this, some of this paint away that we splattered like maniacs because we're crazy like that. And let's see what we have. Uh, another winter wonderland. Now, if you didn't want to put the rocks and whatever down here, you didn't have to do that. And you can write a word like happy holidays, Merry Christmas, or a card. Or you can write it up here. Right up here. I didn't want to do that. You guys figure it out. You know, this is a fun little card idea. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Really, it is easy. Come on, you saw me do that. Maybe the bird part was a little bit more advanced. Um, but just dabbing the snow, all this stuff was pretty simple. You know, just put a little bluish gray line down from the rocks. You can tweak everything as you go, but um, I think you guys can handle this. I really do. I know you can. So um, also don't forget to check out my Patreon every Thursday. I have exclusive tutorials and traceables that go there. Obviously we're in December, so uh, we'll be doing more Christmassy things and holiday things. And if you're a super Patreon, each month, um, beginning of the month, the first week, the first Thursday, I put out a PDF download that I've created that you can use for personal use. You can print it out and print it on canvas, or if you want to print it on something that you want to put in your house or put it on imitation. Um, obviously, you can't sell it for commercial use, but you know, personal use, you want to use it for something fun like that. So um, that's if you're super Patreon, that's the, the higher tier. I don't even do downloads on Etsy, so I think that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> People ask me on time, like, oh, can I? I'm like, I don't do digital, digital downloads on Etsy. So you guys are special if you're getting a digital download from me. So thank you guys so much for being awesome YouTuber, you know, su supporters and Patreon supporters. I appreciate you guys so much for supporting my channel and my craft. And um, if you have any questions, again, leave them in the comment section and enjoy, have fun, play around with color, move the paper around, go nuts. You can just, I just did one big tree and a little spray over here, but you could have done, you know, other things. You could have done pine needles and just done this. You don't have to do a tree. You can have pine needles coming down this way and doing that. Same kind of premise. You do this whole thing in the background and then you put the pine needles in the front. Okay, guys, take care and I'll speak to you soon.